Hi, hello, welcome to Bell English. This is an opportunity with a Canadian company in the farm and specific to the farm workers. So you people might wonder what the work would be. It's all about uh, basic farming work in a cauliflower and cabbage field. You'd be given with a lot of farm related works and the salary the employer is offering is approximately $15.2 per hour. And the working duration he's expecting is minimum of 40 hours per week. And it's a permanent job and a full-time employment. So before we get into the details of this particular job posting, if you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button next to it so that you'll receive regular video updates. So now the employer name is JK Kang Farm Limited and it's a farm working job. It's, it's, it's in Canada, Surrey, British Columbia. And the employer is looking for someone without any experience and education background. He is co convenient with someone who has uh, no experience in farm work and with without any proper education qualifications also. He is neither expecting a degree or a certificate and even without any diploma, it's fair enough for me, for him. So this employer is actually look, uh, has already applied for uh, LMIA. So he has uh, applied for LMIA in order to recruit the foreign employers on a temporary basis. Though he encouraged the Canadians and permanent residents to apply for this job, he is uh, still open for foreigners to apply. So anyone who is legally entitled to work in Canada can actually apply for this job. Any foreigners can apply for this. And specific skill requirements are plant, cultivate and irrigate the crop, harvest crops, examine, produce for quality and prepare for market. So it's, it's typically a farm work where you have to plant the uh, crops and then irrigation irrigate them properly to make sure that the water supply is given for them appropriately and the cultivation is happening properly and you have to make sure you are cultivating them properly and harvesting the crop at the time of harvesting you are supposed to harvest them and send it to the markets as you know all the farm produces are made for meeting the market needs and before it goes to the market it's the responsibility of the farm workers to make sure the qualitative producers are segregated and sent to the market according to the expectation of the market buyers. So the buyers would have different requirements that would have given to the employer directly. The employer would give that as an instruction to the worker and you would be doing those necessary necessary works in order to pack them, segregate them and then send them across to the markets through different channels. So examine the produce for quality and prepare for markets. So that's what is being explained. That's a specific skill which is required. And besides that, you should also have field crop XP skills as in like hard hand harvesting vegetable and uh, hoeing crops and then vegetable culling. So it's, 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 it's all related to the typical farm work where you have to hand harvest them so which mostly people would have already got exposed the any farm worker would have that experience of hand harvesting the vegetables end of the day that's all going to be that's that's not still mechanized and that's all going to be the way how it traditionally happened so hoeing the crops and vegetable culling that's all quite common in any farm work so that is how the actual uh, employer's expectation also comes in the types of cra ca crops are cabbage and cauliflowers so cabbage and cauliflower mostly have a huge uh, like produce, huge product which comes out of a smaller plants and therein they'll have a lot of uh, mud related uh, stuffs and uh, other pests inside it and uh, small uh, worms kind of thing. You have to make sure you work on a clean uh, space where you can uh, identify those things appropriately before it reaches the marketplace so you are supposed to clean them and then uh, you have to make them prepared for the market so it's cabbage and cauliflower the work site environment would be completely outdoor as you know any farm would exist only in outdoor it's not greenhouse so wet or damp so it might be wet and damp as it's a farm and where vegetations are happening noisy and hot so it's it since it's it's an open space definitely it will be wet and damp and noisy atmosphere and sometimes hot as well the transportation is vehicle supplied by the employer so the employer is providing transportation support for people in order to cater to the actual work location so you have transportation facility support provided by him the work condition and physical ability is a repetitive task as you know any farm would definitely have repetitive task it's all about uh, harvesting things cultivating the uh, like cultivating the crops and once it is cultivated you have to make sure proper water supply through irrigation is reaching the plant 
and then it's growing properly and the producers are coming out and it's it's once it's fully grown you are supposed to harvest them once it is harvested again you have to pack them for the market it's all going to be a monotonous job on a daily basis definitely that's going to be a routine job for you when it comes to farm work you won't have much of uh, uh, like pro the creative kind of thing or analytical kind of thing it's all about monotonous from day in and day out so that's how it's going to be a repetitive and physically demanding of course once the harvesting happens you are supposed to carry huge loads so you are supposed to carry from one place to other place while loading and loading things would happen anywhere in the farm during the uh, process of harvesting and during the cultivation as well and at times during the uh, maintenance and irrigation times you might be asked to do certain things which might require you to be physically demanding person so that's why they are looking for someone who is physically demanding you should have a good hand and eye coordination within without which you won't be able to do good packaging job and harvesting job and combination of sitting standing and walking that's how any farm work would actually be standing for an extended period of course that's that's going to be the similar thing on any farm work and walking bending crouching and kneeling so this is how the working condition would be as you know this is a permanent job so once you get through a permanent job in canada you are going to be treated as a full time employee there and you are entitled to have all the benefits of a full time employee as per labor law of canada so you would have your settlement benefits your retirement benefits health benefits so everything is going to be ensured to you as per the labor market by the employer so this is this is typically a permanent job where you'll have all the facility and all the amenities provided for a full time employee in canada so the work location is the accommodation being provided for you you can actually use that accommodation you should be in a position to uh, relocate to that uh, place because it's it's quite adjacent to the farm location so the employer is looking for someone who can shift to that post, that place so that uh, that will be convenient for you to make sure to use the transportation provided by the employer so that's 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 the place where it is quite nearby so that will be quite comfortable for the employer as well in order to manage you so that's why he is requesting for you to relocate you can relocate you should be in a position to willing you should be willing to relocate and staff accommodation that's that's where you are going to stay and personal suitability is flexibility as any job would look for someone who is flexible enough to work with the employer and being in a foreign land you are supposed to be more flexible in order to understand what the employer expects and in order to go beyond what he is actually looking for from you so unless you do that extra work you wouldn't be recognized and you wouldn't be able to have a good career in a foreign land so all you have to do is you have to express yourself more and you have to be flexible enough and have to be a team player and you should have the judgment either to use this or not to use this either to pack this or not to pack this either to segregate this or not to segregate these kind of judgments has to be made by you desperately because unless you make those this judgments you won't be able to segregate and send things appropriately de de depending on the market needs so it's all about segregating and sending them across so you should have that judgmental skill and then you have to be a team player because definitely there's going to be a number of teams working with you a number of people is going to be working with you uh, along with you and uh, besides you and that's how a farm atmosphere goes on so you are supposed to mingle with them and get along with them work hand in hand with them without any controversies or without going against anyone's anyone's actual uh, wills so you are supposed supposed to work as a team player and the landscape other skills uh, the employer is actually mentioning here is cleaning crops and grading so these are all like your routine activities which the employer would take you through and he'll train you over the period of time so in order for you to outperform actually how he expects this employer is actually supporting all the groups as such apprentices and indigenous people newcomers to canada students veterans visible minorities and youth groups so he is supporting against uh, across all the groups and promoting equal employment opportunity for all the applicants so you are very well called to apply for this particular job and how to apply you have to write an email with the detailed uh, details of your experience if you have about your qualifications if you have or about your portfolio 
you should send across an updated resume so it has to be an updated resume make sure it's updated till date so you have captured all your achievements and experience education whatever it is you have mentioned it uh, all over your resume and along with a cover letter so make sure you send in a cover letter do not skip to send a cover letter which is very very essential for a Canadian employer to understand your profile so you are supposed to send in your updated resume with the cover letter to the email address provided so email address i have mentioned on the below description box through a reference website the posting is also available on that website you can access the web link as a job application given on the below description box access the description box the first link would be this job application you can open and see the post you can go through the post yourself this is what is being showed over there and this is the post where you will be able to find the email address of the employer in order to send you the resume and your updated cover letter so make sure you send them across and definitely that would turn out to be a successful job and yes i have covered all the information here if you have any questions or queries please do feel free to let me know in the comment section i'll be pleased to assist you so we'll see you soon with another new job posting before i sign off if you are new to the channel again support to the channel subscribe to the channel if you like this video give me a thumbs up and do not forget to share it with your friends definitely that will be of helpful for them see you guys take care bye bye